what's going on guys welcome back to my channel my name is Dina and we're back in the garden today as you can see it's nice and sunny but it's supposed to rain in a couple hours so I wanted to get in these two baby tomato plants that I got gifted today's video is gonna be short and sweet I want to show you how we plant specifically tomatoes in our back to Eden garden so let's do this I was gifted two beautiful baby tomato plants one of which is this celebrity tomato. We trellis all of our tomatoes. So the first thing I do is just line up my spot with the trellis just to make sure it's not too far off and to keep it off the walking pathway. I'm pulling back the wood chips so that I can directly plant into the soil. In a back to Eden garden, you never plant into wood chips. So it's a very simple but crucial step to pull the wood chips back before you start digging. Let's zoom in a little. I want to show you all the earthworms in our soil. I'm planting these tomatoes in the gated garden where we've been building up our soil for about five years using the back to Eden method and laying down fresh arborist wood chips every one to two years as they decompose into the soil. We also lay down cardboard underneath the wood chips and that attracts these earthworms and a lot of other bugs that create a rich ecosystem that will support your plant life. We don't till the garden because these guys do it for us. The best time to plant is early in the morning into the late afternoon and evening. Often it's cooler in temperature, the sun isn't beating down on your plants and this will make it easier for the plants to acclimate into their new environment and into the soil. Additionally, it's a bonus if you can plant on a day that it's going to rain. As you can see, the roots are very nice and developed in this transplant. They are not root bound. Root bound means that your roots get so long and spin around the container and get all knotted up and bunched up. And when you plant them, they don't have the ability to spread out because they're already tangled amongst each other. Plants that are root bound can't properly absorb the nutrients from the soil. So if you do have a root bound plant, it doesn't mean that it's gone, but it may not do as well as if you had gotten it into the ground before the roots got all tangled. I'm just moving our wood chips back around the plant. This will keep the soil insulated. It keeps moisture in, it keeps heat in, and it suppresses the weeds in the garden. We love mulching the garden with wood chips over time it breaks down and creates rich soil health. So our celebrity tomato is nice and planted and this was the beefsteak tomato that I planted right before that. It's the other plant I got gifted. If you don't plant on a day when it's going to rain it is always a good practice to water in the transplant that just gets all the soil settled in and any air bubbles out and it just sets up the plant for a nice life in its new location. This is a atypical situation since it rained and got cloudy right after this, which is why I chose to plant them at this time. If you do have to water during the middle of the day, don't get any water on the foliage of the plants, just water at the base into the soil. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like if you found it helpful. Share this with somebody who might find it useful. And be sure to subscribe to the channel and maybe even hit that bell to be notified anytime I drop a new video. If you wanna stay ahead of the game, please check out my other tomato videos. I will link those below, including how to prevent hornworms and how to prune 
for a single leader STEM method. Until next time, guys, keep growing.